It's a warehouse where if you buy something from the shop on geocaching.com, it gets sent right out of this building here. We're about to take a tour and you get to come along with. Hey guys, it's Hailmeister, and welcome back to another episode of Geocaching with Hailmeister. I'm in downtown Seattle, Washington, and right here is known as Ground Speak West, also known as Shop Geocaching. It's the warehouse where if you buy something from the shop on geocaching.com, it gets sent right out of this building here. Uh, let's take a look into the warehouse here. Ooh, look at all this cool stuff in here. This is Lackey Phil Thriller, and he's gonna give us a tour here. He works here in the warehouse, and he's gonna show us around and tell us what it's like to uh, package up equipment and uh, orders and, and things like that. So, let's go. All right, so over here is uh, all of our shipping computers. Um, basically, we pull all the orders and then, you know, ship them out. Um, we get picked up once a day um, by UPS and USPS. Okay. And then um, over here we have our workstations where we do our other activities. We have inventory, uh, social media, kitting, all kinds of stuff that happens aside from just doing shipping and receiving. And you know, with all the uh, heat and everything like that, HR likes to take care of us and, and get us hooked up with fans and <laughs> these uh, cool little uh, neck fan devices. Oh, that's awesome. You know, when it's like 80, 90 degrees out, which rarely happens around here, but. This summer it's been a little hotter than usual. Hey, wait a minute, Phil. What is this a familiar face I see? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have an artist here that likes to cut out faces and um, decorate the, the place and make it a little fun, you know? I see, okay. So you'll see some, all kinds of weird, uh, random photos of uh, influencers, employees, family. Okay, good. We like to keep the fun around here. Yep, awesome. So it looks like here we got some boxes with uh, some kits and some things or whatever. What's PM? Is that, is that Sans? Premium membership stuff. Aha, and so okay. And so we break it down into sections. Um, we have like a premium uh, membership stuff and then we keep the hats and stuff over here. Mm -hmm. um, and then back here we have more of like the shirts and stuff like that. So here you are, if you buy a hat off the website, ships from right here. This is somebody's hat they're gonna be wearing while on the trails. <laughs> We have the uh, all of our trackables and geotags in this kind of this middle area here. Oh, okay. Ooh, look at all these trackables. Look at that. There's a there's a gummy trackable. Here's a brand new geocoin. Mm. Look look at all these look at all these geocoins. We have gift coins, boxes of gift coins here. Ooh, this one's cool. That's a cool coin right there. All right, look at all these coins. Hundreds of signal to frogs. Little plushies. <laughs> Check this out. Here's the mountain ones, the tags you can buy from the tags, the Kilimanjaro tag, Everest tag, all that good stuff here. I'm glad you pronounced that because I, I couldn't. There's literally thousands of tags and geocoins just sitting right here ready to be shipped to the people who buy them. Yeah, right. pleased to meet you. So how many, how many languages can you ship in? Uh, <laughs> Well, I could probably ship in all languages, but primarily it's usually uh, European and Australia, definitely Canada, um, yeah, just a couple places in Asia as well, but a little France, mostly Germany, <laughs> France. And uh, this is Dylan, um, he does a lot of the shipping and uh, he also does a lot of the kitting. Uh, we put together the kits ourselves, so anytime somebody gets a kit, it's, you know, made by a lackey. Uh, All right. Him, Dylan. Hi, Dylan. D-Dog. Geocacher name. There you go. I got you. Mark just sets up those little uh, cowbell targets uh, just to, for fun. Yeah. You know, the, to, that way we just keep all the tape rolls and reuse them just for throwing a target slip okay. down there. There you go. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna aim from that orange box and hopefully hit the There you go. Oh, that was a knuckle ball. I had a job one time where I was throwing tape rolls and I actually got in trouble and fired, so. Ooh, we got some desert camo containers here ready to go. A little desert there. Camo. Got a log ready to go, ready to be hidden somewhere. Extra, extra small, extra small, small. 
medium and large. You know, Phil, I'm, it looks like I'm trying to get a hang of this already. It's, it's, I see how you got this all organized and everything, and I, I could probably get a job here. Oh yeah, you could do this. <laughs> yeah. This could be you. <laughs> Here's a few more kits. We got uh, Ammo High Desert Camo. Comes with, uh, looks like we got some log sheets in there and a pencil and pen. All right. We got a, a goth Tom Brady. <laughs> goth Tom Brady. Always a surprise when you walk around the corner. You never know what you're going to see. Yeah. Ooh, micro plush plane. Look at, here's another box of signals. Aren't they cute? Look at, if you want to hide a night cache, you buy one of these. You got the fire tax. Look, acetyl vest. We got some work gloves. Cash in, trek out work gloves. Right. So you say, you call it Cedo. I've heard some people call it Cido, so it seems to be up for discussion. Yeah, yeah, it, it all depends on the, the, the eye. So, so what do you think yeah. of the warehouse? It's a little bit smaller than I thought, but when you got tags and, and coins and hats, I guess it doesn't take up a whole lot of room. No. How often do you get like uh, in, incoming stuff? We like to keep everything fresh. Um, you know, we keep down the basics, but then, you know, we like to have a new variety of different trackers and always try to come up with new containers and stuff. Mm -hmm. Phil's gonna take us through the process here when you place an order and to when it gets shipped, and what that process is. Mark is uh, pulling the orders and putting them over here. Um, we usually try to do the oldest one out first. Okay. And so they get put in these bins over here and then we bring them over here put them on the scale um, and then get the label on them and then they go over here for the post office to pick up look at this piece of geocaching history right here here is the big blow up 2022 that was at the celebration if i search hard enough i might be able to find my name but <laughs> look at there it is right there all deflated sitting in the corner <laughs> What are you packaging up there, Phil? Some matchstick containers. Ooh. Okay, empty ones. All right, ready. Yeah. To, ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to be hidden somewhere. Stickered and ready to go. Yep. What state is that package going to? This one's going to West Virginia. West Virginia. All right. What would you say, Phil? How many packages or how many shipments you make on an average day? Uh, average, um, probably 50, 50 to 100. From time to time, we uh, we uh, we've had some a uh, few lackey happy hours here, and you know we partake in some darts. But I'm not very good at it. But you know, here we go. <laughs> all right, I hit all three. Hit the board. <laughs> <laughs> you can see all the misses on on the wall. Well, wasn't that fun? A tour of Geocaching HQ West, the warehouse, Shop Geocaching Warehouse. Awesome. I hope you enjoyed that. If you like that video, check out some of these other videos right here on the side. And we'll see you guys for another episode of Geocaching with Hailmeister. <laughs>